What's cooking? What's cooking? <laughs> El pollo. <laughs> oh, God. We're leaving that in too. What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'm excited because we have a fragrance from a brand that I've been very excited to talk about here at BFL. It's called Awake, and it's from the house of Acro. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in to BFL today. As always, we really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing fantastic. Yeah. Hello, Mister. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Working hard with you. Of Six course, videos. As always. That's Goal good. is eight. Can we do eight? I think we could. We I have think a few we more could. minutes <laughs> before the wife starts calling in. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah. So Acro is a perfume house founded by Olivier Cresp, who is the perfumer. Love the guy. And his daughter Anaïs. We actually found out about this directly from Olivier's mouth when we were speaking with him at the 2018 Fragrance Foundation Awards. I remember that, yeah. He was outside, he was by himself. We said, oh my God, that's Olivier Cresp. And we approached him and he was very passionate and enthusiastic. And he said, I have a brand coming out soon. He was so excited for it. And then we spoke to him a little bit further on the matter when we did a Parfum de Marley event. That's correct. And he actually helped us host the event. So that was an awesome, awesome night. But uh, this is one that I'm really excited about. The line is based on addictions. The initial collection consists of six offerings. Mm -hmm. This one that we have here today is called Awake. It's based on coffee. There's Dark, which is based on dark chocolate. There is Haze, which is based on cannabis. There is Malt, based on scotch. Something Night, good. based on sexy time. <laughs> and Smoke, tobacco. Awesome, man. I like that. Sexy time. What are you, Borat? <laughs> I don't know. It's a sexy time. Hey! <laughs> Honestly, each one sounds better than the last, and that's my honest opinion. Uh, this one really... I gravitate towards this one just because it does contain coffee. I am an avid coffee lover. We just had... Coffee with cardamom in it. We had Turkish coffee, so surprisingly here we have a fragrance with coffee and green cardamom in it, so... Just I, a happy synchronicity. I think you set that up to get us in the mood. I and swear the vibe to you, I didn't. This. It just happened to be on my table. I picked it up and I said, are you interested in having some of this? It's quite strong though. So it has to uh, really cater to your palate. But I love this a lot more than the coffee that I just consumed. <laughs> for sure. I definitely like the fragrance better than... It's a little. It was a little too heavy for me. Thank you for the kind gesture yeah. and your it hospitality. Wasn't. But a little dark for me. I'm used to lighter coffee. It's an acquired taste. But I should be, I, I'm Hispanic. I should like Café con Leche and Café Bustelo. Ah, whatever. It has to be the right flavor. <laughs> yes. Anywho, so back to this guy. What are the notes? Do you know? So this one, from what I'm able to remember, it has the coffee. It has Haitian vetiver. It also has green cardamom. And it's not listed in the note breakdown, but I certainly pick up on a little bit of hazelnut and maybe something spicy and sweet. I want to say cinnamon, just because it kind of reminds me of tiramisu. Off camera, we had my mother smell yes. it, and she said this reminds her of tiramisu. So I thought she was going to say coffee, but she said tiramisu. That was the first <laughs> thing out of her mouth. Yeah. She's actually pretty in the know, his mom. She's around this all the time, and uh, she has a good nose, your mom. She's the reason that I got into fragrances. So, wow. Yeah, for sure. That is some story. Thank you. I'm sure you've told me that in the past. Yeah. Out of the six offerings, I was sent a sample set from the company. I went through all of them. The only one that really did not resonate with me personally was smoke because I recently quit smoking in Good January. Congratulations. And it kind of just reminded me of smoking. So I, you know, I kind of just didn't want to really smell that. But the other five were awesome. Dark is amazing. Yeah, that's the chocolate one, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's... I love that but, one. But <laughs> you'll smell like dark, rich chocolate for the entire day. <laughs> uh, the scotch one is nice. The sexy time one is good. Uh -huh. Night. But we have to talk about this one before us. Yeah. This is coffee through and through. It is a blast of coffee coming into your room when you're like starting to wake up for the day and you smell it coming from the kitchen. And it just wakes you up and gives you that energy to wake up and stretch and start the day. It's got 
hazelnut, like you said. Mm -hmm. There's something delectable in there. The coffee doesn't ever go to bitter or bitter, right? Because yeah. mm -hmm. coffee sometimes can taste bitter. I need sugar in my coffee, diabetic and all, but uh, I, I don't like the taste of just coffee. It has a nice okay. gourmand edge that keeps it from being too bitter or too much, you know? Well, I mean, Olivier Crespe is the king of gourmands. He inevitably created the first gourmand mm -hmm. fragrance, which is Thierry Mugler's Angel, released in 1992. And certainly he knows how to utilize certain um, edible ingredients to create a smell that is just so mouthwateringly good. And this one does have a lot of edible ingredients. You have the hazelnut, you have the coffee, you have the cardamom, you, you know. I also pick up on a little bit of vanilla, perhaps a little bit of cinnamon. So this is one that I really enjoy. I love this one. I mean, as soon as I smelled it for the first time, I said, can you get any more organic than that? <laughs> I remember trying Kerosene's Follow. And yes. Kerosene's Follow is a really good coffee dominant scent. Tiff Benson turned me on. I did a review on her channel for that one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So I think that both of those fragrances would like have to duke it out because they both smell amazing. But this one goes in kind of like where you would imagine your barista at Starbucks making with like a specialty drink with like the syrups and everything. It smells really good. You see, I kind of have to disagree just a little bit. I do find it to be a flavored type of coffee, but we recently both have smelled the new Montal. Uh huh. And that one to me smells like a really syrupy, sweet kind of... Here, it okay. has a gourmand side, but it's not overly done. It's more like really a little cup of espresso. Yeah, With it smells authentic. It smells very authentic, very original. The Montal, I see what you mean, but it has a little bit of that rose in there that kind of takes my mind away from a coffee that you would consume as a drink, but um, I see what you mean. So, <laughs> with that said, amazing, amazing scent. And my this, favorite from the line. This is how you respectfully disagree, because you said a moment, we didn't agree just there, <laughs> but it's all good. But, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all, all good. good. It's all good. It's, it is what it is. Um, I, I, when somebody tells me this smells like that, I can't tell that person that it doesn't smell like that. Oh no, I'm right and you're wrong. No, oh, it's, <laughs> it's a different perception. Uh, sugar is good to some people, some people like salt, some people, you know, it, it, it depends on you. Listen, his favorite color is purple. <laughs> and you and, <laughs> you you and I cannot that's agree. A problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite color is blue, so whatever. And there are other things we, we don't share the same likes, but we'll leave that alone for now. Sure. And uh, this is really a great coffee fragrance if you want to have a really nice, well done coffee fragrance. <laughs> it lasts for a good, so good six hours. It has nice okay. projection. When I received this, I got it at work and I always spray at work to see what the girlies think. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's our audience is 92% men. They want to know what the girls think of these fragrances. Of and this one got oohs and ahs immediately. Amazing. Amazing. So. Yeah. Awesome. My coworkers would probably be really interested in this one too. <laughs> I have one coworker. His name is Lewis. He's a huge fan of gourmand fragrances. He actually went out of his way to purchase some that I had worn to work. And so this is one that I would imagine a lot of my coworkers really enjoying. So <laughs> yep. awesome. This is the box that this bottle comes in. It's a tin kind of can. Mm -hmm. I also have here a sample set of the entire line. Awesome. This is a $30 value that I would love to share with one lucky subscriber. If it's missing any sprays, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They're relatively full. You'll be able to get a good feel for all the fragrances for in sure. that package there. <laughs> so all you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Subscribe to Stephen at Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video, then leave one comment down below what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on your reviews, new content giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care of yourself, and we will see you next time. Bye.